Hello everyone, it's Phil here doing a tech review on Space Quest 1 and 2 from GOG.com. Let's go to the game folder, Space Quest 1, and we're gonna edit the DOSBox config file. It's already set to full screen, we leave that to true, uh, but we've got to change the full screen resolution to whatever our monitor is. My monitor is 1920 by uh, 1080, so that's the resolution I'm using. And for window resolution, sometimes I switch between window mode and full screen mode. I usually go with 800 by 600. In terms of output, you've got three choices. Either go with OpenGL, OpenGL non bilinear or direct draw. OpenGL gives you a uh, consistent look with uh, a little bit soft, it's a little uh, softer image. Whereas OpenGL non bilinear and direct draw gives you a very razor sharp image. I'm gonna put in some screenshots so you can compare them. On my machine, the direct draw option um, takes a few seconds to switch between resolutions or full screen and window mode. So I like to go with the OpenGL option. I never had any issues. So let's go with that. Um, what else do we need to change? I highly recommend that you change the computer the machine to Tandy because Space Quest 1 and 2 is a game that when you play it on a Tandy machine has improved sound. It will uh, use three voices instead of just one and I'm gonna put in a comparison so you can hear the difference. Okay, the other thing we need to change is the aspect ratio correction to true so that the game isn't stretched in widescreen and it's in the correct aspect ratio just like in the old days and we changed the scaler to normal 3x the processor I don't recommend going with the maximum speed I set that to fixed cycles of 3000 that's appropriate for a game that's that old um, for the mixer we're gonna boost the sample rate to 48,000 and we also and change the sample rates for the speaker and for the Tandy down here to 48,000. And that's really it and we're done. So let's run the game and see if it looks okay. Okay, and that was Space Quest 1. Space Quest 2 is exactly the same process. We go to the Space Quest 2 folder. There's our DOSBox config file. So we change the full screen resolution to 1920 by 1080. Window resolution to 800 by 600. Output to OpenGL. Then we change the machine type to Tandy. And down here, the scalar to normal 3x and aspect ratio correction to true. We set the processor speed to fixed 3000 and we also have to change the sample rate to 48000 and same goes for the speaker and Tandy sample rate, 48000 and 48000 here. And then we just go file save close it and let's see if the game works And that's really it. It's all working uh, really well. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, uh, leave any uh, questions down below. I'm always eager to hear from you guys and hopefully you found this video useful.